Hi and welcome to another video on use substitution for a Calculus 1 course. This video will focus primarily on a couple of examples that are definite integrals. So let's take a look at this example in front of us. We are going to integrate from 0 to 1 the antiderivative of x squared times the quantity 1 plus 2x cubed all to the fifth with respect to x. So hopefully from the use substitution that you've studied prior we can recognize that that inside function or 1 plus 2x cubed should be our u. What's also important to note is that since our bounds are from 0 to 1, our function is in terms of x and we're integrating with respect to x, everything is x's. So while I'm exchanging these x's for u's, I'm also going to do that with the bounds. So here I'll say change bounds. And what we're going to say is that if x is 0, what is u? Right? Because our lower bound is x equals 0. Well, this is our substitution equation. u equals 1 plus 2x cubed. That is not only an algebraic substitution that I will make for u sub, but it's also a numeric substitution for our bounds. So if x equals 0, I'm going to substitute 0 in for x. So I come up with u is 1. So in my new antiderivative, once I get to the integral or the integrand having nothing but u's in it, I want to make sure that my bounds are in terms of u as well. And then I can say the same thing for our upper bound. If x is 1, what is u? Well, I'll substitute that in as well. So my u value should be 3. So I'm going to integrate in terms of u. This is just my reminder here that by that step, everything will be in terms of u. Okay, well, if u equals 1 plus 2x cubed, then du is 6x squared dx. What I hope we're able to see as well is that I already have the x squared dx in my problem. So if I multiply the integrand, the inside piece, by 6 and multiply the outside of my antiderivative by 1 sixth, I'm multiplying this whole equation by 1, which isn't changing the value, it's just changing the way that it appears. So this is sort of that inside-outside method. Again, once you start working with u sub more, hopefully this will become more clear. So I multiplied the integrand inside here by 6, so I multiplied outside by 1 sixth. So I'm going to rewrite this right here. So I'm going from 1 to 3. I have a 1 sixth on the outside, and then I will have u to the fifth du, right? And so I will highlight here in green, this was u, and then all of this other blue, 6x squared dx, 6x squared dx was my du. Okay, so this will be 1 sixth times, then if I integrate, u to the sixth over 6, and I'm going from u equals 1 to u equals 3. So here's the benefit of us changing our bounds. I now just have 1 sixth times u to the sixth. And I can substitute because my bounds are u's, right? This 1 and this 3 are u values. I can substitute them right from here. So this is 1 over 36 times 3 to the 6th minus 1 to the 6th using our fundamental theorem of calculus, which is 1 over 36 times 729 minus 1 or 728 over 36 or 182, excuse me, over 9. And certainly we should check this using our graphing calculators. And we're going to substitute in the very originals. Let me grab that. So we're going to say math 9 or function integrate from 0 to 1. Again, I'm going to type in the very original just making sure that I didn't make a mistake here. This was x squared times the quantity 1 plus 2x cubed to the fifth with respect to x. 
And if I hit math, enter, enter to see what fraction, if any, that becomes, it is a rational expression, 182 over 9, which is exactly what we got. Now, if you don't change your bounds, then that is fine as well. But once you are here, your bounds are not used. For example, if you do not change your bounds, if you leave them, you cannot write from 0 to 1 because those are x's and not use. So sometimes you might see something like this. So for this step right here, 1 6 times the antiderivative 1 to 3 of u to the fifth du, they might have, if you don't change your bounds, just leave them in terms of x's, but you got to tell the reader, if you will, or the mathematician that you, you have bounds that are in terms of x and not u. So you may see that as well. All right, let's look at another one. Changing bounds, by the way, the farther you go in calculus does have some benefits, so that's why we're practicing it now. Okay, so hopefully we recognize that e to the u is not too bad to integrate, so let's let our exponent for e be our u. That's where that chain rule or that's where the um, composite function idea is. So we can find du right now if that makes you more comfortable. du is 8x dx. And what I should see is that I have the x dx. I have the right number of variables, meaning it's not x squared or x cubed, something like that. So I can manipulate this because I can multiply 8 inside of my integrand and then multiply 1 eighth in front of my antiderivative. 1 eighth times 8 again is 1, so I'm not changing the value of my problem, I'm just changing the way that it temporarily appears. So now I'm sort of set up for u substitution. I have 1 eighth times the antiderivative of, I'll highlight this in yellow, the 8x dx is going to become my du, and then the left over here is the blue, and that's just e to the u. So I have e to the u du inside, which wouldn't be terrible to integrate. And now don't write down 0 to 1 because those are x's. So I will change them. So I'm going to write change bounds so I know what I'm doing. And I will say if x equals 0, what is u? So I'll substitute that into this equation. Again, that's your equation that's going to relate your x variable to your u variable, and you can use that as many times as you need. So now u would be 4x squared, so 4 times 0 squared, plus 3, or 3. So my lower bound will be u equals 3. And then my upper bound here, if x equals 1, what is u? Well, let's substitute 1 in to that equation. So u equals 4 times 1 squared plus 3, or 7. So my upper bound is 7. And I can go ahead and anti-differentiate e to the u du. It's just e to the u. And I will go from u equals 3 to u equals 7. So that will become e to the 7th minus e cubed. That is irrational and you are done. I could maybe factor out an e cubed, but I'm not going to be able to combine those together, so I leave it. Certainly this is worth checking on your graphing calculator real quick. So I will say math 9. Again, I'm going to type in the original. And I'm going from 0 to 1. And I'm integrating x e to the 4x squared plus 3 with respect to x. When I hit enter, I do not expect to get a very nice rational answer because it's in terms of e. So even if I hit math enter enter, I'm not expecting that it can convert that to a rational fraction. But what I think is that this is equivalent to e to the seventh minus e cubed all divided by 8. Okay, yep, they're equivalent. So I know my answer is correct. I hope you found this video on definite integration with u sub or u substitution helpful. Just make sure you change your bounds. Again, you don't have to, but it is a lot easier in the long run, especially if you're headed towards a second calculus course. Thanks for watching.